Hello, beautiful Pisces, and welcome to your reading for the week of uh, November 8th through the 15th, okay? So, but this is a timeless message, even though I'm honing in on current energy, right? There's all kinds of different timelines. Um, so maybe you see this five years from now and it's for you, right? Um, I hope that everyone is doing good. If you're new here, nice to meet you. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. All right, I know many of you guys will resonate with that as well. Um, those of you guys returning back to the channel, welcome back, my loves. Thank you for every like, every subscriber. We have a lot of new subscribers, new people joining the channel. So thank you, mi amores, to all of you. Um, you are so loved. So let's get right into it, okay? Hmm. For some reason, I immediately got the power of three. Maybe you're seeing a lot of three, three, three. Um, maybe the numerology of three is resonant. Um, you know, Pisces energy actually is March energy, which is the third month. Um, you know, even though I know it starts, you know, in February, it's predominant in the month of March. Um, I'm also getting threes a crowd. Someone could be feeling like that. There could be like a third party energy or, you know, maybe there's some kind of elephant in the room or something like that, okay, is what I want to say. Um, so you'll know how that connects with you, but let's see. Poverty, card number 37. Some of you guys might be feeling some losses or maybe you have experienced some losses, whether it be, you know, financially, there's a feeling of being out in the cold, of feeling like, like a lacking energy of camaraderie, of maybe partnership or community or love, or it could be a lot of different things, but that's what I'm getting here, okay? You know, this, this energy right here is a child and he's, you know, he's, he's kind of tattered. His clothes are tattered. There's a black cat that could be relevant. Um, you could have been born the year of the rat. The rat does signify wealth, but there could also be rats in your circle. People that you're like, you know, you got to keep an eye on. Maybe you've dealt with those kinds of behaviors. He's, uh, cleaning chimneys, like a chimney sweep. That's why he's on the roof here. I believe he's on the roof, maybe. Yeah, it looks like he's on the roof. He's see all the rooftop buildings. Okay, so maybe Pisces, you've been in a place where you've been looking for work, or maybe you've had some financial rough patches uh, in the past, recent past. Um, whatever the energy is here, I feel this like movement forward. And I also feel spirit animals are big. You might connect with cats, have a black cat, Bad health, card number 31. Some of you guys may have had some health concerns or someone that you love or connect with maybe has had some health concerns. Okay, I'm hearing trust in the universe and the divine plan. Okay, so I don't know why that's coming through, but that's that's what I'm getting, okay? Um, some of you guys could work in the medical industry or be nurses or maybe you want to, or I'm getting like going back to school to get your degree or, um, you know, maybe it's like to become an RN or maybe you want to get your doctorate, you know, or your PhD. I don't know. What I'm getting is for a lot of you guys out there, you've just, you've been having a lot of challenges, setbacks is what I'm getting, setbacks, maybe financially, maybe with health, maybe with, you know, partnerships or, you know, maybe you wanted to do something, but you had to take care of a sick family member, you know, and put that first and, and prioritize that over your goals or your things, you know, could be a lot of different things, right guys? So I'm reading for a lot of different people. Um, I'm getting bad, bad health. What I'm getting is like heartbreak, sadness, pain. Okay. Where you wanted just someone to, you know, be there with you or take care of you, like in that sense. But what I'm getting is like, you had to learn to do it on your own. Some of you guys have been maybe taking odd jobs or maybe you're in a place where you're just like, you know what, I'll take what I can for work right now. You know, things like that. But, and now what I'm hearing is dream bigger, dream bigger. Okay. So maybe that's where you were and maybe you started dreaming bigger. Okay. 
37 breaks down to a 10. There's completion and new beginning energy. Renewal. The journey. As I'm talking about number 10, 37, and then we have, we have 10 that comes out. So I was meant to see that. And then 31 breaks down to a 4. There could be some kind of foundation in bad health. Uh, some kind of partnership that's gotten sick is what I want to say. There's a sickness within the partnership, karmic energy, things like that. Okay, I don't know what it is, Pisces, but I'm getting a new day is dawning here. A journey. You could be traveling, taking a train, flying on an airplane, packing your bags, uh, going away, vacation time. I don't know. It could be anything, right? It could even be a short journey. I'm hearing a song, Cody Johnson. Um... It's a, you know, I love Cody Johnson. It's a country song and the song is on my way to you. I feel like you've been going through some challenging times and there's some completion happening here. And I feel like someone is on their way to you. The power of three, the power of three, the Holy Trinity, um, you know, and for me, it's the, the Holy Trine, the Holy Trinity, it's God's source, divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay, the Holy Trinity. So you might be, I don't know, connecting more with these energies. Like you might be getting more into like your spiritual side, your, your magical side. You might be working with the power of three. Um, you know, oftentimes in, uh, with magic, you know, there's a lot of things like, you know, clockwise, one, two, three, while stirring maybe a potion energy or herbs and things like that, right? Um, or waving a, a magical wand or a clearing crystal, one, two, three, you know? So I don't know how it's going to resonate, but I just say everything that comes through. Despair. Yeah, see, you know, I think someone who, I think someone who showed you some false energies. Now the false person, this is someone who's masked and her, she's like hiding kind of behind her, you know? And I feel these are just like deceptive energy. So someone could be starting a fresh journey. Maybe someone's in despair right now. I think someone showed you a false side to themselves and they're in despair. Yeah, I feel like someone's been locked up. They feel imprisoned in their life, like they're stuck. Okay. And I feel with the official person, this is someone who could wear a uniform, have badges. I don't know. But it's someone who's like, they try to be very honorable or maybe they're known to friends and family community of someone who's honorable. And, you know, um, you know, maybe they're ashamed of their false life or they don't want secrets to get out and everyone to know in the community and be gossiping about something here that they have to free themselves from. That's what I feel. I feel there's an avoidance. Someone could just be in despair because maybe they're freeing themselves from something, something that was false, not meant to be in their life. But I think someone is sad because they showed you a falseness. I think, I think it's like they acted opposite of what they wanted to say is what I want to say. <laughs> you know, like... I love you, but instead they said nothing. Okay, and they started just rolling. Yeah, see, there's something here about a delay, stubborn energy, but that's also your energy, right? Enlightenment. Yeah, someone is feeling heartbreak and sadness and pain, whether this is you, someone else. There's a separation happening here. Someone is going through a separation energy. See, five of cups, a, a, a breakup, emotional release, letting go of something that's, you know, draining you emotionally or energetically, you know, but it, it's that, it's a loss, it's grieving, mourning, sadness. Okay, let's go ahead and just shuffle here. Okay, so tell me about this poverty, this bad health, imprisonment, and despair. You have 31, 32, 37, and then 29 with imprisonment. Um, but 29 is still close to the 30s, right? So 
I feel that all these cards here, numerology wise, they definitely go together, but I can also just feel that they all go together. You know, and Pisces, I feel that you guys have been moving out of a time of despair, a time of, you know, sadness, a time of where you just felt like, you know, like you were going through the motions. And I feel like when I heard the power of three, I feel like there's a wholeness, a oneness here happening within yourself. And the more that that happens, the more that your outer reality is going to reflect that, that wholeness, that self-love, you know, mirroring back to you, true love, you know, it's like that. Yeah, I see exactly. Holy shit. Exactly. Exactly. This, this is right here is exactly what is uh, meant to happen completion like some kind of happily ever after a true soul bond that you share with someone okay there's alignment here awakening chakras lit up like there's different energies here wow i mean you literally this is clarifying these cards these darker heavy dense cards is this someone is in despair from losing you pisces Someone who, what I'm getting is uh, afraid that they can't be who you need them to be or want them to be. I feel this is someone that has, you know, childhood wounds, definitely. Yeah, the strength card. Feeling torn. Lacking the strength maybe to free themselves, or maybe they have. Someone who doesn't know how to be vulnerable, okay? Um, there was some kind of progress made here, maybe between you and this person at some point, okay? That could also be that third party energy, possibly. Someone who maybe has been, you know, playing house with another person, or, you know, I don't know, could be anything. Nine of Swords and Four of Pentacles. Someone is crying in bed. Someone can't sleep. Someone is having a really hard time letting go of some stuff here. It's like, I can't let you go. And I'm getting that like moment in the Titanic when, you know, they're like, it's like the very end and she's on the thing, the door, you know, and he's in the water. Um, and she's like, I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. And that's what I'm getting here. I'll never let go. Someone is very confused. They are stuck in the head. But it feels like they're getting out of it. Clarify getting out of their head. Seven of Wands. Taking a stand, taking the high road after being very blocked. Devil energy, yeah. I feel like this person is going to choose to be with self. This could also be you, Pisces, like protecting your energy. Maybe after ending cycles. Maybe you were dealing with someone that was not letting you go. For some of you guys, I get that. Maybe a karmic partner from the past who just would not let you go. They were, you know, and it feels like you're done with it, but they were just like, that could also be relevant to whatever situation I'm channeling right now. Someone could be maybe dealing with a partner that just can't, they won't let them go. Like this person maybe has tried and that's the imprisonment. Like I feel stuck. I feel imprisoned. I don't want to be imprisoned anymore. There's some kind of like miracle energy here. It's like. What I'm getting is like someone is, they're manifesting but daydreaming at the same time about maybe how they want to take a stand here. There could be an age difference here, but I, I feel that this is just someone who's, it's like they're emotion, they were emotionally stunted. You know, like it's a, it'll stunt your growth, you know, like kids, oh, don't drink coffee, you know, or caffeine or whatever, you know, coffee will stunt your growth. You know, what I'm getting is like some kind of like trauma or abandonment stuff that happened at an earlier age and it stunted them emotionally. 
and maybe this person showed you emotional uh, immaturity or just a lack of emotions, but they dream of you a lot. They think of you a lot. Okay, 15 minutes. All right, let's see what Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups is and the Strength card. Three Pentacles came back out. building with someone. Some of you guys, you may have only dated this person for like a month or like a couple months or a few months. I'm actually getting that very strongly. Two, three months maybe. I'm getting to that this person, they didn't see your strength at first. They didn't see your strength or, or like your true, you know what I mean? Who you really are. You've grown, you've grown and you, you bring forth a sense of um, confidence, success, abundance, you know, and also like a free spirit. It's like this person goes, this person is someone that, you know, I feel like I could have fun with. They follow their passions. They don't let, you know, life keep them boxed in or people's opinions keeping them boxed in. Like they live life kind of to the fullest here. And I, I, I really admire that. I want that. Four of Swords. It's almost like someone seeing you living your best life and they're like dreaming up all these ways of like what maybe that would look like if you guys were together. Okay, but this person is very silent. Okay. Ooh. They're still healing from a very painful, from very painful endings that they've experienced. I feel like this could be some kind of silence being broken as well. All right, after some time, someone may want to communicate that they've that they're going through an ending. You know what I'm getting is I'm done. I'm done. So someone could be letting you know that or maybe this is you done with someone. I don't know. Okay. So let's go ahead and wrap up the message. Um What do I want to end with? You know what? I'm going to end with a couple oracle, mess, or, uh, oracle cards here. This is um, like a twin flame oracle, but we're just going to see the energy. You know, for some of you guys, this could be a twin flame that you're dealing with. Um, or just, you know, a very strong soulmate energy with the Ten of Cups. And, uh, I mean, this is, you guys are each other's absolute bliss. Like, you guys are each other's happily ever afters here. Yeah, someone, they they regret losing you, Pisces. I feel like if this person reaches out this week or over the next couple weeks, I feel like it's going to be small communication. I, I just, they're very like, you know, it, it's, it's they're, they're having a lot of sensitivity and feeling a lot of emotion about this and a lot of like passionate energy. Um... What I'm getting is it may start off slowly, okay? But there's a speed up, is what I want to say. But, you know, you, you might be a bit disappointed at, like, the first initial contact, okay? Try not to be, okay? There's, there's a lot of love here, okay? We have the summer energy. So summer season could be important to you guys or, you know, to this connection. It says, it's time to see the sunny side. Your answers arrive in summer. Um, someone's name could be summer, but what I'm getting here is just like warmth, the heat, the warmth of summer, you know, summer is like a lively, you know, season, you know, it's a very sociable season. It's a, you know, people like to, you know, go on vacations and camp and go to concerts and festivals and, you know, all kinds of different things. Right. So it's like a social, you know, time of the year. Right. Um, and that's what I'm getting here more more of that social plus a lot of like like heat passion warmth you know it's like your love life is warming up okay summer's bringing the heat here it's time to see the sunny side hidden path yeah 
See, a detour, slow down, explore, go in a new direction. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a path opened up to you that's been hidden. I'm getting hidden in plain sight. I'm also getting something about like Ireland, Dublin. So you guys could be from there, you know, be Irish, maybe your person is. Um, you know, I'm, very, I'm also getting very strong, like just Celtic energy. Split energy. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting split energy. Um, options, unfocused, multitasking, decide what you really want. So someone, you may have to decide what you really want, Pisces, but I feel this is someone deciding what they really want in life. Taking a hidden path. Or maybe they've opened up. Imagination is open. Crown chakra might be open, right? I feel it is. Where someone is seeing things, it's like their imagination is going where it was very blocked before. Because that, that happens. You know, we, we lose those parts of ourselves as we become adults and experience pain, pain in life and all the things, right? We lose imagination. To be imaginative, creative, you know, all those things. We start getting very logical, right? And I feel that's resonant here. You know, maybe someone very logical, okay? They could be feeling very split in half right now, right? Like maybe they're in the midst of a crossroads, okay? But I feel also this is someone that has shown you very split energy <laughs> where maybe they were like all in and then they were all gone, you know? Maybe they left you wondering like, what happened, you know? You guys will know, right? So then we have the outcome card. Okay, so this is the final card in your reading, Pisces. Um, there's results here, a conclusion, an ending. You will get a resolution. Okay. All right, so the universe is saying that you will get a resolution. There is two cards of communication here. Someone opening up, but like I said, I feel like it might start small and then it opens up to bigger communication, right? Um, and I just saw 222 and then 2222, okay? So maybe you're seeing a lot of that as well. So whatever it is, the power of three, I don't know. I feel like I said, it's a, it's a perfect trinity. There's a oneness here where like a masculine and feminine come together, right? And they're both connected to God's source. They're, they're, they belong together in that way too, right? So I don't know, take it how it resonates, but that's what I got. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for uh, all of your love and support here on the channel for, for liking. It really helps the channel grow. I really appreciate it. Um, as well as subscribing and sharing. Thank you for all of that. Um, if you guys want to book a reading with me, you can find all the information down in the description box below. I have a few different options to hone in on your own, you know, twin flame journey or whatever it is that you're feeling called to do. But this is beautiful energy, you know, and it's well-deserved. It's well-deserved. This is a partnership right here. This is a coming home together, coming home to one another right here, okay? So you had to get into this vibration though to attract this vibration and this stuff, right? So some kind of beautiful alignment here for you, Pisces. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, also, if you guys are interested in uh, attending my 1111 portal a uh, quantum healing activation workshop uh, this Saturday, just this Saturday on 11-11. Um, it's held over Zoom, but if you guys can't make it to the live one, it's totally fine. It's at 11 a.m. on uh, Pacific Standard Time. A lot of people live in different parts of the world. They can't make it. It's different time zones, right? So you can get the recording, which is just as powerful as being there during the live because it's on a quantum level, right? <laughs> so it's the same thing, right? It's as if you are there on the live, right? Um, but anyways, it's, it's very powerful stuff. This is my fifth one. It's highly activating. There's a lot of different kinds of, you know, connecting, healing, um, uh, activating a dormant codes within yourself, um, helping to break down, you know, subconscious blocks, fears, different things like that. It's all kinds of different stuff. I do a reading for the group. Um, we get to talk and hang out. It's social. Um, and yeah, and I'm, facilitating this particular workshop. I'm uh, guided with uh, Goddess Isis of Ancient Egypt, uh, Hathor as well, Ancient Ancient Energy, Hathor, Mama Hathor, um, and Mary Magdalene. So we're gonna be we're gonna be diving deep. I'm excited, I'd love to have you guys there. But anyways, I'm just sharing it until 
you know, the time comes because we still have openings. So I love you guys. Mwah.